Hi, so today's video is going to be about getting clear as an artist because so many of us want to jump ahead and rush to um, find printers, put our work out there, discover who our ideal customer is, all those kind of things. And we're kind of jumping straight into the sales end and trying to get those sales coming in. And obviously that's important because we need to buy materials, we need to keep working, etc but it's well worth taking the time to step back, first of all, and get really clear on a few things. The first thing I kind of work with with the Passion Into Profit students is getting clear on who you are as an artist and what motivates you, what inspires you. It's spending time figuring out if you make, if you create portraits or landscapes, why, do, why are you drawn to those? instead of something else? Why are you drawn to acrylics instead of oils? Why are you drawn to kind of quick gestural marks instead of very slow, methodical kind of realist work? Once you get to grips with all of those things and you understand yourself as an artist and we understand ourselves as artists, it helps in so many ways because the first way is if ever you get into a funk, and you are feeling pulled in a million directions and we get distracted by shiny objects, then you can recenter yourself and say, hang on a minute, what is it that I am about? What's my passion? Not what's trendy, what's selling well, you know, those kind of things. What's coming from my heart, from inside as an artist? And it helps bring you back to that passion and keep you aligned. And when you're in that state, it's, Work is always enjoyable. It's always fun. It kind of flows. I'm saying it's always fun. Don't get me wrong. There are certainly moments in the studio where there are lots of expletives and uh, and Tourette's when things go wrong. But if we are constantly getting distracted, that shows in our work. Whereas if we're focused and we know exactly what we're about and what drives and what motivates us, then we can always come back to that and stay really true to it. The other reason it's beneficial to know what we're about and what we're trying to say is because it's much clearer for our potential customers as well. Because if we constantly flip around in terms of our process, our subject, our materials and you know the style, then it's really difficult for people to know what we're about and what to expect from us. And the same with galleries. Um, and also, as I said, previously, it's very confusing for us as well as artists, and it can just make the whole process less enjoyable. So the other things we're going to get clear on, or that it's important to get clear on, is um, what your goals are as an artist. So your financial goals, your life goals, and make sure that the things you love doing support those goals. Um, and what I mean by that, and I'm going to go into it in more detail in a separate video, is if you are really drawn to originals and very, very detailed ones that take months and months and months, and you have a certain income or financial goal, then that is going to be a lot of pressure to just do that one thing, which leads me on to the other aspect we need to, we need to get super clear about. And again, this will be a separate video. And that's what kind of products and services do we want our business to comprise of as an artist? Because as I said, if we just stick to originals, that's a direct exchange for time and money. And that can be very, very stressful um, in terms of having to sell and create an original each month in order to cover the bills. Whereas if you have various income streams in your business, then it takes the pressure off completely because if one dips slightly, you know you're gonna be carried by the other ones. So this month is gonna be primarily about, in kind of email and blog and social media content, getting clear. Getting clear on those three things. Yeah, so getting clear on who you are as an artist, what inspires you, what motivates you in life, because generally that comes through in, into art as well. Getting clear on what your financial goals are, what your life goals are, where you want to work. Is it in a studio alone? Is it in a group studio? That kind of thing, because it all, once we have that vision in place, we can then start to create it. And the third thing to get clear on is what kind of product and service mix we want to make up our business. And if we take time to do that in the very beginning, 
what it does, it sets all the foundations properly. We know exactly who we are. We know exactly who we're going to attract. And when we go off track a little bit, we know that we can pull ourselves back on track very, very easily. So it's so worth taking that time. I know it's not boring. It's not sexy. It's not any of those things. Sorry, it's not interesting. It can feel boring, but actually, if you sit down and plan, and it can be quite exciting working out what your goals are and exactly how you're going to get there. And um, yeah, because after all, it's a phrase I use quite often a goal without a plan is just a wish. So take time if you can, get clear, spend this month kind of really going over. Um, first of all, who you are as an artist and what it is that makes you different. What's your kind of unique selling point? And for me, it's a little bit like having a spring clean in the house. Once you declutter everything and you give it a good old clean and you do the windows and all that kind of business, you're just like, ah, oh, I can think straight. I know where I'm going and everything just feels easy and it's brilliant for manifestation as well when you have that declutter. So getting clear on these three things is basically the same as decluttering the old grey matter. <laughs> okay, so I hope that was useful and I will be back in touch soon. For now, have a great day.